Hello, Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Welcome again to my channel. How was your Christmas? Mine was fantastic. Among the numerous gifts I got is this lovely cup from my son. Very thoughtful gift from him. I really love this and I think it's my best gift so far this Christmas. I went all crazy when I got this. So today guys, I'm here to um, talk about 2016 in a nutshell, the ups and downs, the, the, the good and bad, the happy and sad story. And um, amongst them um, was the death of Prince um, and also Judge Michael, which was very recent. Um, also Muhammad Ali and David Bowie. The one is um, Carrie Fisher, the Princess Leia in Star Wars. And uh, sadly, her mom da died um, a day after her. It's a real tragedy, really. It's really, really sad. Really, really sad. Just one day between them. Anyway, I think enough of the sad stories. En en enough of the death stories. And um, another sad thing, well, I'll say sad because that's where I view it, that happened in 2016 was um, the Trump effect. <laughs> Donald Trump won the United States um, president election. It came as a shock to the whole world. It came as a shock to everybody. But, you know, the verdict is out now. He's been chosen as the next president. And um, I think we all have to stand by it and um, watch it unfold and uh, hope and pray for a better America and uh, um, hope that. Donald Trump will surprise us all, will surprise the world for good because right now nobody has any faith whatsoever but personally what I believe is there's nothing in this world that happens without God knowing about it I think God allowed this to happen for a reason and that reason I guess will unfold as we get into 2017 and we all see you know what Trump has in stock for us I just hope it's for good really I hope it's for good also, um, in my own country, some great news happened, some great things happened in 2016. Um, amongst them was Toke Makiwa's Unbecoming. She became an author and she wrote about her life. I think it was quite an inspiring book. There's been a lot of um, reviews about it on YouTube, different people with their own opinion. But really, personally, I just think um, it's individuals that can tell their own story. So. And people will make their comments, people will judge. And in every situation, there's always, you know, three sides to a story. In this situation, there's four sides. Toke, our ex husband, the girl in question, and God, really, because it's only God that knows the truth and what happened there. But um, people have a portion blame on all the parties involved. But I just think, is there business, really? Is there a problem? And um, she has uh, shared her story with, with the world so that people can learn, especially women, on situations they're going through. And um, yes, yeah, I wish all the best. More grace to her elbow and um, a fantastic 2017 for her. And hopefully, um, um, an even better future than she's had this year for her. Also, another thing that happened, another major thing that happened in the entertainment industry in Nigeria was that of Tiwa Savage. She broke up with her husband, T. Blaze. That was a really sad one and um, a very um, complicated and dirty split to, you know, all sorts of dirty linen being, you know, exposed to the media. But really, like I said, there are three sides to the story. I said T. Blaze and God. It's only God that knows exactly what happened there. But like I always say, everybody with their own. Marriages are different, so you can't really judge. People have judged and, you know, all sorts has been said. But like I've always said, said is that it's only people that can tell their own story the way it is and the, the way they want it to be perceived. So I wish her all the best as well in 2017. And, um, and yes, all the best, really. And another star from Nigeria that I'm really, really happy about is Jennifer Funke Akindele, she finally found love. I'm so happy for her. I hope and pray this is the one for her. 
and so far so good with what we've been seeing in the in the media she looks happy they look good together so i wish her all the best and um yeah more grace to her help but really yeah that's uh you know 2016 the way i see it with the nigerian celebrities as well now in 2016 as well you all agree with me that everyone went crazy about pokemon you see young children even adults trying to <laughs> going about on their phone trying to catch pokemon it was just a crazy crazy time crazy experience it has died down a little now it wasn't as crazy as um three four two months ago you know but people are still catching pokemon about it it's not as crazy as before and um of course i shouldn't forget brexit brexit happened in 2016 <laughs> oh that's another well we have we, we had trump the trump effect in america and then we had the brexit effect in the uk and i guess in nigeria we've got the Buhari effect <laughs> that was a joke anyway in all this country all over the world a lot of changes are happening things are happening and so we are all looking forward to 2017 to see what it has in stock for us and um, you know we all hope it's going to be a wonderful wonderful year and again in 2016 2016 was olympic year which was really good the last olympic was in the uk which i was happy i was able to see the paralympic which was fantastic but this year it was in brazil i didn't go but I, of course i watched it on tv and um it was fantastic it was fantastic really so yeah those are the wonderful things that has happened so far this year and of course the new five pound note was introduced in the uk which i, I like it though it's very it's smaller to the um other to the old five pound note and it's kind of beautiful i like it, it has a shiny future anyway and um in fashion a lot of things has happened in 2016 but i'll just mention two the first one is choker i had i i wore choker when i was 17 and now it's back i'm not going to tell you when that was but you know you can do your calculations but that's back in fashion i suppose for adults and children and teenagers it's just fantastic and of course this is back as well to ban you know it's for every culture every tribe it's just wonderful it's beautiful you can sell it whichever way you like really and um, yeah i'll move on to the the movies in 2016 that you know i really enjoyed and they were appropriate for you know it's a mixture of films that are appropriate for children and adults amongst them were uh, kung fu panda um and the remake of jungle book um finding dory um and of course the the ones for the adults were deadpool Bad Mom, Rogue War, which is recent, I, I saw that recently, and of course Passenger. That's amongst all the new films that came out. These were the ones that I really, I personally enjoyed in 2016. And um, in 2016, um, I had um, programs I really enjoyed, programs that I, I started watching, I discovered. Amongst them was Empire, that's from the UK, um, from America, and I really enjoyed Empire. Um, I enjoyed the affair as well and Westworld I really did enjoy that and the one I discovered from Nigeria on one of the African channels on Sky is Jennifer although they've, they've stopped it now but I tell you I've sent words home for somebody to get me all the um, Jennifer seasons that are available I really love the lady and she's just talented I love watching it she brings laughter and, 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 and smile to my home so yeah I'm really enjoying Jennifer and the other program I've mentioned Empire um, Westworld and um, The Affair I'm looking forward to what they have to offer in 2017 and of course I mean um, um, What's this other program up? It's, it's not in, it's been on forever. I'm looking forward to the next season in 2017, which is Game of Thrones. Yeah, it's not new. I've been watching from the beginning. I'm looking forward to 2017 to see what that has, you know, in stock for um for us really. And um um also in um In uh, 2016, I have my top 10 music that I read songs, top 10 songs that I really love amongst many, amongst, you know, all the music that came out in 2016. 
I have some that I really like. I love playing over and over and over again. Amongst them are 24 Karat um, Magic by Bruno Mars, um, 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 Rockabye by Sean Paul, Clean Bandit and, and Marie, um, Moi by Dua Lipa, uh, Treat You Better by um, Sean, Sean Mendes, and Messi, I like his Messi as well. Love My Life by Robbie Williams, I really love that. Um, also, The Weeknd, I Feel It Coming, I really, really love that track. It's one of my um, best tracks for 2016. And of course, Side to Side by Ariana Grande and um, Nicki Minaj. I also love Cheap Truths by Sia. Um, um, I love um, Maroon 5, um, Don't Wanna Know, No, No, No. <laughs> Also, I like um, Adventure of a Lifetime by um, Coldplay. Um, the other ones I like are, um, um, I love Adele, Sam, I love fantastic song, fantastic vocals. I really, 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 really love that. They are really good. And um, before I finish, I also need to talk about the reality programs I love watching in 2016. And can't wait for what it has you know to offer in 2017 um amongst them are um, um real housewife of atlanta real housewife of cheshire that's an england based one and i also enjoy dance mom because my my daughter she goes to a dance school as well so it's always a joy to see the dance mom and you know all the things all the extras the mom puts into it to make sure their children achieve their dance goals i really enjoy that program um and finally on the reality program i know a lot of people will judge me on this but really i don't care i love the kardashians i do i just i love their hustling life is it's quite encouraging there are a lot of um um there are a lot of things going on around them they have their family problems but most importantly they all i mean which family doesn't have a problem anyway or don't have their own issue i just love the fact that they put family for they're always together and everything both good and bad and they really do also i love their hustling spirit they are quite encouraging to you know any young person that really wants to you know do something and make an impact and just stand out yeah i mean it's not all the thing that is all bad they have their good um good um, skills as well that people can really you know uh, emanate but the one i really love i love their hustling skills it's really good really encouraging and uh, yes i wish them all the best in whatever they are going through i i don't personally i don't think they're as bad as people think they are they're just unlocking some situations really and um i wish them the best i wish them all the happiness they can get really and um really on that note i'll say keep calm and keep watching more craft creations for listening to my 2016 in a nutshell and um, I'm looking forward to 2017 I'm sure you're looking forward to 2017 as well remember to subscribe guys tell, tell your families and friends about this channel comment give me thumbs up guys I need you to subscribe guys make this 2017 a wonderful year for more craft creation guys and um, I'm wishing you all all the best in 2017. Remember, keep calm and keep watching more craft creations and be good to yourself. To my next vlog or video in 2017, be good to yourself. Bye.